the Telegraph, episode 5. In this episode, we'll be discussing about the circuit and mainly making a simpler version of the Telegraph. And the, in this video, we'll be simplifying the receiver to just one, one part. Continue watching and I'll show you the circuit presentation. Now. Here we'll be talking about the telegraph and simplifying it into a simple circuit. Okay, so now uh, let's start off with the first part, the Morse key. And we'll be simplifying it into just one push button. Well, that's not exactly simplifying, but we'll be using a push button. And then uh, in, for the receiver, will be using a single component only one part as i told you in the last video let me give you five seconds to guess it time's up so let me tell you what the component is it is basically a an indicator i'll be using only one indicator so in my case i'll be using a buzzer but you can use whatever you want you can even use a an led lamp or whatever you want and that's all we'll be simplifying and now let's draw the circuit So now we have finished the circuit and now let's actually make the circuit. Yes, so all the things that we need to make a simple single wire telegraph are right here. So let's actually start off making the telegraph. So you need one buzzer, a simple switch. I'm using uh, jumper wires because they're much easier to handle with. I'm using one male to male cable, one male to male, and I just attached an alligator clip to it, and then another male to male, and I attached another alligator clip to it. Okay, so now let's start off. Start uh, by taking your buzzer putting it somewhere like this as you can see and remember that these are connected the, uh, the vertical ones are connected but the horizontal ones are not so I put it like this and then let's connect one jumper cable so I'm connecting the negative one here and the negative one we will directly connect it to the power source and now let's take this one here let's connect it to the positive one and now it's time to attach the switch so, now uh, let's take one jumper cable and let's remove one of this put it into the positive one as I like to do it connect it to one of the battery hooks right here, one of the switch hooks right here and then let's connect the other to a switch hook right here. Great, so let's actually power it up and test it if it works. So as you can see I have my power supply right here. And now let's lower the voltage down to something like 3.7 volts and now let's hook it up yes so we have hooked it up now let's try it great it's working so let's crack the voltage up just a little bit more to make it louder So you have built your first simplified single wire telegraph. So now that you have built your telegraph, let's actually type out a message. 
So let's type out a message in dots and dashes. The message we'll be typing out right now is a very, very important message, which is S O S. So let's print it out. So S O S is dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. So you might ask me, why is it so simplified? I thought Morse code was supposed to be complicated. Well, SOS was a very important message and they had to make it simplified so that it wouldn't take so much time to send. So let's actually do it. Great, we have typed our first message on the Morse. Great, great, cool, cool stuff, right? Now, for easier, if you uh, if you're comfortable with this way, just hold it like this, and then that sounds way better, and it's much more comfortable. Okay, so now you have a surprise ahead of you. In the next series, we'll be learning the Morse code. Great, great, cool, cool stuff. Yeah. So now you must be very proud of yourself that you have learned about the electromagnet and have built a very, very simple telegraph. That is absolutely great. And I'll see you in the next video. Next series, learning the Morse codes. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Have a great day. Three, two, one.